My friend Pelagro is about to uh, drill the holes for the second skylight. We got the first ring set. We're going to Latin plaster and then we're going to a second ceiling and then we've got a tongue and groove pine roof on this old 1956 house. We marked both of these. We got our circles. We're cutting a little bit outside the <coughs> circles and then these rings fit right up in there nice and uh, the bottom is almost done it is a very dirty job though for sure so at least it's not blown in insulation no blown in insulation that's good okay on Pelagro so this has been a, uh, a dirty dirty job getting these holes cut from the bottom through this latin plaster and two ceilings but uh, we are looking pretty good and we're getting ready to go up onto the roof and check that out here's our inside holes all lined up and uh, we go through the latin plaster and through another ceiling and we've got a hole drilled for the center that we're going to uh, go up on the top and find and cut those next up on the roof marked our holes marked our flashings cut our holes for these two skylights um, one thing i like to do is save this substrate and uh, the wood that we cut out and set it down in the hole to the side. So someday if somebody takes the skylight off, they might find that and be able to patch their hole if they decide they're getting gonna delete these. Anyway, probably never get used, but it, it's a nice considerate idea. We've got our holes. Now we're gonna cut our substrate, slide these up in and screw them down and then put these skylights together. So we got the top ends all uh, set. Basically, we cut back the bottom of our underlayment here and we slide the panels up. We'd pre-marked on top where the screw holes were for the panels. Cut down here, slide them up with a bunch of goo underneath. Screw down all the way around. Then we came back with some roofing glue. Glued everything down. And then uh, we got the lights going down into the house. They fit up nice, quick, and easy. Any place there was a mismatch, you can see we used some uh, aluminum tape. And uh, make sure bugs can't get into them. The tops just pop on. The second one looks real nice, too. Every uh, penetration has got some goo on it. We'll let this stuff get hard for a day or two. And then I will be back up and we'll use some white elastomeric roof coating and we'll put a nice fat coat all the way around these things with the white elastomeric and, and uh, then we'll run around the roof and see if we got any other weak spots. But the roof was just coated a couple months ago. It's pretty low profile, it looks pretty good. There's no screws or anything on the top, they just pop on in. So I think that's good. Now we're back down inside. <laughs>